Hello, today I have a Dan Electro convertible. Dan Electro's take on an acoustic electric. Sort of. Um, I, th I think it's better thought of as a, um, either an electric that you can play somewhat louder than usual electrics acoustically, or like a acoustic styled hollow body. So, this one is a reissue, and the original ones were made, I believe in Chicago, by whatever the Dan Electro company was at the time, and then at some point they went under, and somebody built reissues many years later. And uh, this is one of the late 90s, early 2000s reissues. It was made in Korea. And this one is before they changed over to the go-to, how do you pronounce it, like the tuners that are on most of the other Dan Electros. So, it is a hollow body. It has a bit of a sound hole in here that something comes out of, and a single Dan Electro style lipstick pickup in there. And um, beyond that, it has a similar neck to the other Dan Electro guitars, like the U3, U2, and all those various series. Um, and it has the same type of tone knob here, just, uh, there's two knobs, so one is a, uh, volume and one is a stacked tone knob on top of there. It has an end pin jack over here, which is, uh, both for the strap and the out sound output. A little bit of a door in the back for access that is not particularly useful for much because you can't reach much in there. The bridge on this one is different from most guitars in that it's not in any way connected to the body. It just kind of sits on top of there. And you just turn these things to raise and lower it and move it. Which of course means that every time you either take off all the strings or you hit it hard with your with the palm of your hand or something, it pops out of place and you have to reset the intonation by moving it up and down to where you want it. It also means that if you put the guitar in storage without strings, you can easily lose this, which happened to this guitar. This The, the bridge from this got lost, and if you look on around Reverb and stuff, they're selling those for like $60. So the owner of this guitar actually made this replacement here, and I'm going to let her take over for that. So when I first got this guitar, it was missing the bridge entirely, so I had to make that from scratch. And if you try to find this on eBay um, or anywhere, it's really expensive, and so I don't want to spend that much money. So I got a Rosewood blank, a bridge blank. It's for a flat top guitar, um, and it was about like $6 and I cut a chunk out of it and made this and then I roughly tried to match the uh, the neck radius for here and then I was able to set a fret piece of fret wire into here for to, to rest the strings on so there are three set screws that go into here and uh, that's how you adjust the action on the guitar so now that we've had the bridge explained let's try and see what it sounds like starting off with acoustic mode It's, um, it's, you know, it produces a fair amount of sound. It's not hugely loud like a general, like an acoustic would normally be, but it does make sound certainly a lot louder than a uh, typical electric guitar would be. Start playing with power chords. It is easier to play, for sure, than most acoustics are, because, like, you know, a lot of times you have the actions a little bit higher on there, and um, this just feels like an electric neck. Pretty much because it is. It's the same as the other Dan Electro guitars. And it does have an adjustable truss rod, which I probably should have adjusted before this video, but you have to take the neck off to adjust it. It's inside of there is where you access it, like all these old Dan Electro guitars. Um. general idea of what it sounds like when you play it acoustic, now let's try plugging it in. And now I've got it plugged into an amp. Now this only has this single lipstick style pickup right here. There is no piezo, um, anything like that. Like generally acoustic guitars, ones that are trying to be acoustic that you can plug in, they'll stick some sort of a uh, piezo piece up here so you hear what's coming out of the, the front of the guitar itself and it sounds a bit more acoustic. This has no such thing, it's just straight electric. I believe the newest reissues of these do actually have a piezoelectric and you can dial them, there's two pickups in there, but not this one and not the originals. So, let's see what it sounds like. <laughs>
pick up out here on the, uh, the middle, you don't really have the opportunity to get as much bite as I might like, but generally I actually really like the way this sounds. It sounds, you know, like a, like a retro kind of warm guitar. It's a single coil. It's got a bit of sparkle and brightness despite the fact that it doesn't have a bridge pickup. by putting this here. It's pretty alright even up there. It does tend to be a little, uh, a little prone to uh, feeding back. And the volume level is not even very high on this, which I kind of like about it. I like having easily accessible feedback, but if you're playing with a very loud or higher gain amp, it might not be the best thing for you. Uh, there's, it kind of in some ways seems like it was thrown together a little bit, like it's hand built. There are things here and there. The uh, the thing for the, the strap is just glued in and it tends to come out. I've had that happen with more than one Dan Electro guitar I've seen around. Uh, same thing goes for the end pin jack, actually. It's not in any way attached. This one's replaced, but the original one wasn't either. So, and the whole body is made out of uh, masonite, I believe. it. I don't even know what that is, but it's some sort of, I believe, stuck together wood wood product. The original ones of these guitars were frequently made as the, uh, the Sears um, models. A lot of the silver tone instruments were made by Dan Electro. And so there was a lot of cost cutting, they were going for, for cheap things, and so when they made the reissue, all those things carried right over, and uh, if that's what you like, then it's pretty neat in that regard. It's It sort of skates the line between toy and real instrument, which is not the worst thing in the world. It's definitely playable, and the neck is good and it has an adjustable neck. Um, but there are some limitations, obviously. So that is the Dan Electro Convertible, a hollow body, electric, and sort of acoustic guitar. <laughs> oh, who cares? Like, a hundred people are gonna watch this video. Who gives a fuck?